Welcome back to The Link. We're here at Coweta Works at Central Educational Center. We're with Cynthia Bennett, the Vice President for the Talent and Advocacy Division for the Noonan Coweta Chamber of Commerce and the Chief and in lead for <laughs> this effort. Cynthia, yes. what an effort. It is an effort. It is an effort. And the number one word is that it's collaborative. So where we are right now, we call Command Central with 180 volunteers, and that includes career presenters and the volunteers that act as tour guides and hall supervisors. We have to have a place for them to come. We have to feed them breakfast or at least a little bit of breakfast and then a really, really nice lunch because they give us so many hours to make this happen. Cynthia, more companies, more students. Yes. This continues to grow. It does. It continues to grow. This third year we have 48 career presenters, which is eight more than we had last year. Extraordinary. We also have three additional schools than we've had in the past. So are the private schools in our community who are taking advantage of dual enrollment. The private schools have brought their eighth graders this year. We absolutely love that. So we have 1,949 students that have been through the CEC and through Coweta Works over the course of three days. Amazing. You work on planning this almost an entire year? We do. We will do after action meetings in February and March. We take a little bit of a break and then we are back in August recruiting our world leaders. They are the ones that pull together the worlds and bring in the career presenters. Then we have a number of sponsors, very, very generous. I think you can see behind me Chick-fil-A. They sponsor lunch for one day. Um, I know that you've probably seen the Buffalo Rock display that's out in the hall. They provide all of the soft drinks and water and tea for our volunteers. And then Shane's Barbecue has been really supportive with lunch this year as well. We have nine sponsors. I know, it's wonderful. And then we have sponsors who have given us in-kind gifts, such as heavy discounts on our tent costs. A great deal of effort from the community and wonderful support. State Senator Matt Brass. Senator Brass, thanks for being with us at Coweta Works. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me. Senator Brass, this is an opportunity for eighth graders in our community to learn more about our economy and local careers. What do you see positive coming out of this for these eighth graders? Well, right now in the state, there are a lot of jobs, and a lot of those jobs are filled, but a lot of them are not. And so we need we need a, a workforce that's, that's ready to, to hit the ground running, and, and if these kids get the right skills and get the right education, they're going to be able to walk into a job on day one. You were telling me as we were walking down the hallway that you're interested in how kids become aware of local jobs. I think I told you I'm not sure they always do, but this is an opportunity for that to happen. That's exactly right, and, and you know, unfortunately, a lot of times when they do find out, they're finding out somewhere else, you know, at another school, perhaps in another state. And when you find out about them in other places, you're less likely to come home. And so, you know, it's all about providing opportunity for these kids and providing it at home. Senator, we're on the health care hallway here, the health care world, as we say mm -hmm. in Coweta Works. We've become a health care destination. That's right. We've got uh, some major players in health care right here in Coweta County with you got Piedmont Noonan, you got Cancer Treatment Centers of America, you got Health South, uh, which is now Encompass, um, just there, there, and, and many others. Uh, just opportunities abound when it comes to health care, and, and just proud of, of, of all our past leadership that, that wanted to attract these types of uh, this type of industry to our county because it's just. It, not only is it jobs, but you know, as we have an aging population, we got places to go. Advanced manufacturing is a key part of our local economy, continues to grow. We've done a lot of work here locally to attract those high-tech manufacturing operations. That's exactly right. I mean, programs like the Georgia CAP program is just is second to none. Uh, when you got kids that can, can get an education while in high school, get an associate's degree, um, get technical training through the apprenticeship program, and then they're they have jobs waiting on them as soon as they graduate high school uh, with no college debt, um, making more money than most 
kids coming out of college with a four-year degree. So it's just, uh, again, credit to, to you and, and many other leaders in this uh, in the industry, the advanced manufacturing industry, uh, locals here um, saw, saw a problem and, and found a solution, and, and they did it themselves. Couldn't do it without your support, the support of the delegation. Um, so proud, Senator, when I travel around the state, talk about the way that business and education work together in Coweta County. It's really a unique place. It, it really is. And again, I, I credit you, Mark, and, and many other leaders in this in this community, in this county. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud to go up to the state capitol and tell people where I'm from. And, and, and too many times, or actually it never gets old, but you know, they just say, oh, you're from Noonan, you know, you know, y'all got the CEC or you've got the, you know, they, they name a manufacturing company or they talk about the Georgia CAP program. And I don't even, you know, I don't even have to talk about it because they bring it up. And I'm just, again, just so proud to be from here. So what is the message for Encompass to these students? What is it that you're trying to teach these eighth graders who are spending just a little bit of time interacting with you today? So one of the opportunities that we suggest for all of the eighth graders is to explore not only the booths and the participants that you see today to explore your career interests, but how CEC can be a meaningful change for your life. How CEC gives you opportunities that can't be found in a traditional school to explore not only the career opportunities that are meaningful to you, but maybe to rule some out that you get an opportunity to try and maybe that's not for you, so you can be more focused with your degree and your advancement in education. That's, that's great. That's great. Encompass, formerly Health South. Yes, sir. Give us a little bit of background about Encompass. What do you do locally in the hospital here? All right, well, we are a nationwide company. There's 136 hospitals nationwide, including Puerto Rico. So what we do here is we take care of people with brain injuries. Uh, we're going to help them get back up, get back to life, get back to living. Currently, about 80% of our patients get discharged back home, get back to community. So our goal is always to uh, help them get back to a prior level of function. So we take them where they currently are and try to help them get where they want to be. So we establish their goals, and then our therapist teams with my Ken and his group uh, work very hard with them to help them get back to uh, uh, maybe just to be able to go to church and attend services or uh, buy their own groceries or maybe even back to uh, work if that's what, they're at, what they want to get back to. Dr. Metz, thank you so much for CTCA's participation in this event. Uh, it's a wonderful event. We're really happy to be here. Dr. Metz, CTCA does so much in our community, for our community. Talk a little bit about your specialty and what CTCA is trying to get across to these eighth graders. I, I think more than anything, as a physician, we want an awareness uh, in these eighth graders. They're at an impressionable age. They haven't necessarily decided exactly what they want to do for their career yet. And so this is an opportunity for us to let them paint a picture or a reference point when they're making those decisions over the next five to seven years that they can go back to to think, is this what I want to do? Do I want to help people? Do I want, am I interested in the science? Am I interested in the technology? Can I bring that all together? You know, medicine's on the cusp of so many different innovations. You know, we're seeing new cures for cancer, new treatments for cancer, new surgeries for cancer every day, you know, new treatments for heart disease. And, and you know, the students of today, they're going to be the, the, the physicians and the teachers and the leaders of tomorrow. So if we can recruit them to come and, and learn what we do, then maybe one day they can, they can lead the way to the future. What are, you, what are you seeing from students so far? What kinds of, what kinds of questions are they asking? Are, are they engaged with these exhibits? I think the exhibits get them talking. You know, when I was younger, we had, uh, you know, a career fairs, but it didn't have this interactive component. So this, this gets them to see what does a lung look like? What does a lung with somebody that has cancer look like? That's somebody that smoked. What does a lung look like for somebody that, that doesn't smoke? And, you know, how do they compare? And, and, and what can we do with it when it comes to CPR? We actually have a CPR station. We have a vein finding station so they can look at new innovations on how we can access, you know, uh, IV draws the very first time that we, that we make the attempt. So these types of things create that blueprint, that image uh, that we hope they can refer back to. Dr. Jeff Metz, CTCA, thanks so much for your participation and that of your entire team. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Stay tuned to The Link. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The Link. We're here at Coweta Works. We're with Stryker and Ortho Atlanta. 
Stryker, tell us about your involvement in Coweta Works with Ortho Atlanta. Introduce yourself if you would, Jeff. Perfect, yeah, my name is Jeff Grzynski. Um, I represent Stryker Orthopedics. Uh, we partner with Ortho, Ortho Atlanta um, every year to kind of be here and expose any interested students to the world of orthopedics. And if you're interested in the body, this is the place to be. Jeff, what are you hearing from students? What, what's the interaction you're getting with these eighth grade students? What do you, what do you see in these eighth graders? A lot of curiosity and passion. I mean, they come up super interested, grab and touch and what's this, what's that. They want to know everything about it. Um, and, you know, a lot of them just pointing to the world of orthopedics and the way we're going with total joint replacements. Almost every single person knows somebody, uh, grandmother, grandfather, father, dad, mother, anyone that had a hip replacement. So it's, it's getting very, very common. Jeff, from a, from a big picture, eighth graders looking at career opportunities. What does an event like this do for Stryker, for Ortho Atlanta, for the future? What does it help you guys with? I mean, it, it just helps us with everything. It gets exposure out there. It gets kids passionate and excited about the world of orthopedics and medicine. And, and the reason why we're all here is to help the patient, to help people. So it's great to see the kids around here being so enthusiastic about it. You're holding some of the instruments that you use in surgery. Can you explain to our audience what, what those instruments are. This here is a sweetheart retractor. It's shaped like a sweetheart. It's used when they're doing an open gallbladder surgery. It's used to hold the liver back out the way. This here is a small tissue forceps. It's used to pick up delicate tissue. In Jessica's hand, she has a longer version of the pickup that I have. It's used when you're deep inside the patient's body. Okay. What are you all hearing from students who come by and interact with you? What, what are their questions? Are they interested in this? Yes, they are very interested. They're mostly interested in the different retractors and the solution that we use to clean the skin and just the whole basic setup of surgery. Piedmont Noonan is a really important part of Coweta Works. What is it that Piedmont Noonan gets out of being part of this effort, this event? How does this help you? It's a way to reach out to the younger generation that's coming up, getting them prepared for what to expect for high school, college, getting them ready for the real world. They can see what they'll be working with in the future. Have you had a lot of student interaction today? Yes, we have. We had two middle schools today. We're here with part of the Piedmont Noonan Hospital team, such an integral part of this event at CEC. Let me ask you if you would introduce yourself and your team with Piedmont, just a little bit about the team you've got. Sure, my name is Susan West and I do community engagement for Piedmont Noonan. I'm also the world leader for healthcare, our healthcare zone here. Um, but today we have our respiratory therapist here, so they're teaching the kids how to intubate a, student, a patient. And we also have our physical therapy department here, along with right behind me, as you can see, we're about to give birth to a baby. So this has been a really um, hot topic here the last couple of days, so this, the students are enjoying that. We also have our surgical team along with our mother baby unit. Great. Susan, Piedmont Noonan is such an important part of our community, an important part of our economy. What does an event like this do for Piedmont Noonan as you think down the road for the hospital's future. Right. So what we're doing is educating these students. They're eighth graders. They're coming through. They're not sure what they want to do possibly when they when they grow up. So we're just educating them on what different health care jobs are open in the community. And hopefully a lot of these kids that come through will maybe our future doctors, student, um, teachers, um, nurses. So just educating them as they come through. We're with the University of Georgia's Extension Service, and Stephanie Butcher directs that in our community. Stephanie, welcome. Thank you so much for having us. We're excited to be here. We appreciate your work as part of Coweta Works, and we appreciate the great work you do in our community. Remind our audience about the Extension Service. What all are the scope of services that you provide? Sure. So in Coweta County, we have the Family and Consumer Sciences Program. We have a brand new Family and Consumer Science agent that's directing programs there at our office now. We are the home of the 4-H program. So we're in 4-H fifth grade school clubs in all of the schools here in Coweta. We also have the Agriculture and Natural Resource Program, which I'm the ag agent for. So we direct programs in that way as well. Stephanie, agriculture, the number one industry in Georgia. A lot of people in our community may not realize that. We have a lot of agriculture going on in this county. 
Talk a little bit about the forms that that takes. Absolutely. So here in Coweta County, people do not realize that agriculture is the number one industry in Georgia, but you drive just a couple hours south and you see something a little different. So here in Coweta in particular, we have a lot of beef producers, hay producers. We have a um, significant dairy farm here in the county as well, beekeepers. We also have a lot of you pick operations and uh, nursery and uh, landscaping businesses as well that contribute to agriculture. Stephanie Jobs careers in this industry, great for young people. Talk about some of the careers you've been talking about with eighth graders from throughout Coweta County. Sure, so here today we wanted to highlight some of those industries that we do have in Coweta County. So we have the Cattlemen's Association that's here talking to young people about the beef industry. We have the dairy uh, industry that is represented represented by the Dairy Alliance that's here. We're here with the Extension Program and we're talking about all three of those program areas that I mentioned before. We also have the Soil and Water Conservation Service with us and the Georgia Forestry Commission today. So a lot of people, although they don't realize that it's the number one industry in Georgia, they also don't realize how many jobs are out there in it. So it is important that today we get that message out about how important agriculture is because there's a lot of misinformation out there about how food is produced and it's important that people understand that, especially young people coming along. They don't grow up on farms as much around here anymore like they used to. They, they don't even have grandparents farms to go back to. So not being familiar with that is um, sometimes a problem because they don't understand where their food comes from. It's important that they do understand that. Stephanie, thanks for the great work you and the Extension Service do in our community. Thanks for being part of Coweta Works. This is an amazing opportunity for all the eighth graders in Coweta County to experience some great opportunities uh, in the world of work. So we're just excited and honored to be a part, sir. Thank you. Dr. Welch, we're on a health care area. We've got a number of our hospitals. Our, our medical practices who are represented here today. What's the message for eighth graders when they walk down this hallway? What is it that they're getting um, uh, a sense of uh, for their future? I think that the most important thing is just awareness of the many opportunities in healthcare. Um, we always hear about doctors and nurses, but there are many, many other just as important medical opportunities for eighth grade students to pursue. And this is just a small taste of what we hope to uh, increase their awareness of. West Georgia Tech programs are critical in this area. We're delighted that West Georgia Tech is a part of this. Um, several health care programs right here along yes. this hallway. Yes. Could you, could you briefly talk about one or two of them? I will talk about the one that I'm charged with manning today, which is the dental assisting program. Uh, this is just a very vibrant program for those students who are interested in maybe not at, at this immediate point, pursuing a career as a dental uh, dentist but uh, some exposure to the field the equipment what those responsibilities are and so I think this is an excellent opportunity in partnership with the CEC to give those those students that opportunity uh, on an introductory level we've got friends from Kason Industries here Bill I'm gonna let you introduce yourself and your team and let's talk about what you're seeing here at Coweta Works all right, I'm Bill Zeller. I'm with Kason Industries, uh, the human resources manager there, and we've been part of Coweta Works for third year now. Uh, and we're also part of the German apprenticeship program that's here, which I have both Benjamin here and Jacob both are participating in. I'll let them introduce themselves here in just a minute. Uh, but what we've done and what Benjamin and Jacob are helping me do today is to help present to all the eighth grade students coming in uh, the different types of jobs and the different types of careers that are available to uh, individuals in the manufacturing industry in Coweta County. And, and what I've seen is a lot of interest from a lot of students who come in and are looking for different alternatives to a career or to maybe learning a trade or learning a skill that they can put to work sooner. So that's what I mean. But let me turn it over. Ben, introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Ben Slay. I'm one of the Kason second year apprentices. Uh, I'm Jacob Ivester. I'm one of Kason, or Kason's second year apprentices. Um, 
Great. And, and I want Ben and Jacob, I want you to tell us what is this machine behind us? What's it doing? What does it accomplish? Is this something that you guys are studying? So this is a CNC milling machine. It's a programmed, it's essentially another machine that we would operate manually, except we learn how to program it through various coding methods. Um, we, don't, we haven't taken the formal classes to learn how to use it yet, but just picking up on things when we have free time, we can get a general idea of how to operate it. Right now we have it set to mill out a uh, wheelbase, and right now it's cycling through different tools. So that's what we have it doing right now. Um, ja Jacob, talk a little bit about what you're studying overall in the apprenticeship program and, and how this machine might be involved in what you study. Okay. Um, well, in the apprenticeship program, we've studied how to use every machine in this room. Uh, we've studied a little bit about pneumatics, hydraulics, and stuff like that. Stuff that we're just going to need at our companies later on and showing us how to, you know, what's going to be happening in a manufacturing company later on in life. Um, this machine right here, yeah, we can use a manual mill or a manual lathe, but using this, it, it saves time because we don't have to, it's, it's also a lot more precise. Um, it, you can enter the program, like Ben said, you can enter it and it just does everything you want. And you can step away, you can run another machine. It's a lot easier and uh, yeah. Great. Bill, remind us of Quezon Industries. You are local, but you're known around the world for your work. Yeah, Quezon is a manufacturer of hardware for the commercial refrigeration industry. And we basically supply majority to original equipment manufacturers, majority of the hardware for, if you go into any type of establishment that has a cooler or a freezer type of equipment, we've probably supplied the handles, the hinges, the lighting, the different type of aspects that they need to develop and have that type of cooler or refrigerator. We've been doing it. We're going on our 94th year of manufacturing these types of products. Bill, Benjamin, um, J uh, Jacob, yeah, Jacob, we appreciate so much your work with Coweta Works. Thanks for your work with Quezon Industries and for what Quezon means to our local community. We're here at Delta Tech Ops with Troy Payne. Troy, tell us about your role with Delta. I, uh, I work as uh, a liaison between some of the schools for uh, around the state for, uh, there's five colleges that teach this program and uh, I work with those guys as a Delta liaison. Great. Troy, you've got a team here from Delta. Tell us a little bit about some of the things that you're displaying here and we'll, we'll show that um, after we finish our interview, we'll show that. Okay. So right here with Lorraine, we have uh, we're doing a, a, a we're shooting rivets with the guys, so they they have the opportunity to come in and drill a hole, take a rivet, take a rivet gun, a bucking bar, and and shoot a rivet. Uh, a lot of them are doing a great job at it actually, and we're getting some really good rivets. Some of them are pretty bad, but most of all, we got some uh, great products coming out of that. Over here with Tom, we just got a hand tool rack. And we're just using screwdrivers, um, sockets, uh, inner wrenches, and uh, an impact gun. And down with uh, Scott down here, we have, uh, he's doing a welding display. He's got a, uh, able to get three uh, viewers looking in to exactly what he's looking at. So they get the same color, they get the same flow of the metals in the, on the materials. He's drawing exotic materials, magnesium, aluminum, titanium down there now. Great. Troy Payne, Delta Tech Ops, thanks so much for being a part of Coweta Works. Yes, sir. We're here with Coweta County Water and Sewer Authority, and let me let you introduce yourself, talk about your team, talk about your role with the Water Authority. Okay. Uh, my name is Tracy Thickpen. I've been with the Coweta County Water and Sewer Authority for 20 years. I, um, I do a lot of public outreach, water conservation, lake detection, um, and water loss prevention. So, um, I have a small little team. We work really good together. We love what we do. We love the Water Authority, and uh, this is one of the things we enjoy to do a lot. So, you, you've had a lot of eighth graders come through. What are the kinds of uh, questions that you're asking them? What kind of questions are they asking you? What's their interest in? 
uh, water and conservation and the water authority in careers. What are you finding from these eighth graders? I had one eighth grader ask me a very important question, which is how do you keep the water safe that's in the pipe? Okay. So everybody thinks when you cut, you know, your water on, it's safe enough to drink. But there are, you know, look at Flint, Michigan, and there's some other places like that. Things get in the water, watts in the distribution system too, and it can cause contamination. So at the Water Authority, we have a cross connection control program where we keep the water safe. And once it goes past the meter, it can't come back in. So there's a lot of different careers at, at the Water Authority and, and all of them that a lot of people don't even know about. You do great things for our community and we really appreciate your support and your participation in Coweta Works. Thanks Tracy. Thank you. We're here with Noonan Utilities. Tell us about your role with Noonan Utilities, who you are. Tell us about your team that's here with Noonan Utilities. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm Brad Benyard with Noonan Utilities. Um, I'm the water wastewater supervisor here, and we're here as a uh, partner with uh, Coward County to show kind of what we do in the community as far as water conservation and power and uh, just, just get out there and let the kids know exactly what we do on every day. So you've got a number of different crews from yes, Noonan Utilities here. Yes, sir. Uh, you got folks uh, looking at lines. You got folks looking at uh, climbing. Yes, you, you got all kinds of different jobs at Noonan right. Utilities. Talk a little bit about the range of jobs that might be represented by folks here. So, so at Noonan Utilities, we got we got linemen. We got uh, water wastewater guys. We got, uh, we got guys in the compost facility, we got guys in the water plant, wastewater plant. Uh, we just, we take care of everything that goes on in the city of Noonan as far as water, power, and, uh, and look forward to doing stuff like this throughout the community. Brad Noonan Utilities, a uh, long time in our community, great public servant. We appreciate what you do. We appreciate you being part of Coweta Works. Thanks for being here. Yes, sir. Thank you. We're here with the City of Noonan Fire Department, so important to our community's safety. Uh, we've got a couple of members of the Fire Department. Let me let you introduce yourselves and talk with us a little bit about what you're showing students. Okay, well, I'm Damien Sorrell with the Fire Department, City of Noonan Fire Department. I'm Lieutenant Grizzard with the City of Noonan Fire Department. What, what's the goal to share with students? What are you sharing with these eighth graders? Uh, we're just really introducing them to the gear, letting them see the gear that we wear, letting them realize that uh, <clears throat> you have to be physically fit, uh, letting them know the schooling they have to go to, letting them know how important their school is, grammar, math, all that takes in, uh, to effect with the uh, fire department skills. What kinds of questions have you been getting from eighth graders from across Coweta County? Believe it or not, we had a couple ones, you know, the same ones, are the cats and do we get cats out of trees and just stuff like that. But we try to tell them that, you know, we have structure fire, car fires, but 99% of the time we run a lot of medical calls. And we get a lot of people to ask, why is a fire truck on the scene before an ambulance is? And we try to tell them, look, we're prepared just as an ambulance is. We just try to stabilize you and get you situated before EMS get there to transport you to the nearest hospital. City of Noonan Fire Department, thanks for what you do in our community. Thanks for being a part of Coweta Works.